So anyway, in our discussion of multiple sclerosis, what patients are going to ask somewhere along the course, usually at the beginning, is what is multiple sclerosis? Well, multiple sclerosis is a disease of the central nervous system, which consists of the brain, the spinal cord, and the optic nerves. It's caused by inflammation in those areas, and this inflammation results in a loss of myelin, which is like the electrical coating of, the, uh, of, a, of a wire, uh, which leads to impaired transmission of impulses in the nervous system. So this inflammation and loss of myelin leads to impaired neurological function, and a whole wide variety of symptoms can occur. It usually occurs in people in young adulthood, typically starts between the ages of 15 and 50, although there are cases in children, even in the first decade of life, and we certainly see people who first start with their symptoms after the age of 50. Men, women? The disease can affect either gender, but it's much more common in women, perhaps as much as three times as common in women as it is in men. And you mentioned that any age can get it, but is there a more common age? Well, the average age of onset is at about 30. So most of the time we see the disease first starting in young adults, either anywhere from late teenage years through the 20s into the early 30s. So that would be the most typical time. And you mentioned it's inflammation. Is that like when I get swelling on my hand if I hit it with a hammer? Yes, it's sort of like that. You know, whenever you have an issue, an injury to tissue, and that includes the brain and the spinal cord, inflammatory cells rush in. There's local swelling, just like when you injure your, your arm, you get an area of swelling. We see that within the brain. And all of that results in acute, that acute injury results in impaired neurologic function. Right, but this isn't an injury externally. This is something that happens within the brain and spinal cord itself. Right, and this is an injury that occurs because, in a sense, we believe the immune system is going a little haywire. We, we sometimes say that MS is likely to be an autoimmune disease. The immune system <coughs> is a, a system that we have to protect us from foreign invaders, from bacteria, viruses, parasites, and malignant cells. In the brain, in, in MS rather, uh, the immune system starts to attack its own self rather than being reserved to uh, get rid of foreign invaders. And so by attacking the nervous system tissue, we produce the inflammation and demyelination. And, and why multiple, why sclerosis? Well, the term sclerosis refers to the fact that um, in the old days, uh, if patients it died and came to autopsy, the pathologist would feel the tissue and it would actually feel firmer to the touch than normal brain. And sclerosis really means hardness or firmness. Multiple because uh, a lot of different areas of the nervous system are affected. So there are many spots with sclerosis. And we sometimes refer to these as lesions. Lesion is just a fancy medical term for meaning area of abnormality.